and gentlemen to the Diana Fell Zone show on Pal Talk every Thursday at 11 a.m. EST. You know, I just want to jump right into it because I know that we are here with a Pal Talk super celebrity. Everybody loves you. You, silly, you. Oh. Everyone loves Gary. He is our political, ch I mean, I would say you're our political go-to guy. Junkie. Oh, you're the junkie? Got to get a fix. Okay. What well, am I going to do now? I don't know what you're going to do now, set. except really follow what's going to be happening with the transition periods, you know. Oh, thank God we have that. Bush to Barack Obama, and I think it's really exciting. But yes. when when I heard the news that Barack Obama won, I was on my way home from my radio show, which I do on Maxim on Sirius Satellite, and my doorman said, it's official, he won. And the cheering, which I think is so amazing, and I'm curious, since this is an international audience, what happened in the different countries? And you know, be sure to raise those hands and let us know what your experience was because obviously America is a very powerful nation just like there are many powerful nations out there and we all have an effect over each other so I was curious what the global reaction was as well as the USA's reaction was in different states across the nation but I know here in New York and I'm sure you can attest to this as well just hearing the cheering and the screaming and the taxis beeping and the cars going it was unbelievable yeah, I thought the only place that that was happening was in Kenya and Indonesia, but <laughs> <laughs> actually it was happening in the United States as well. So. Yeah, no, it was super exciting, and it was funny because during the day, during uh, when the election was actually taking place, people were saying, do you feel the, the energy? Do you mm -hmm. feel the change Yesterday in the air? Yesterday as well was continuing. It was. It really was, and I was curious, did you experience that too when you found out the news? Did you go to any election parties? What were you doing on well, big election night? Well, we had extended coverage of News Talk Online seven straight hours of coverage till midnight. Whoa! Uh, I hope it, they gave you a couple, you know, martinis or something. I was, I was drinking uh, Werner's ginger ale to try to keep going. But um, That's, that's non-caffeinated. It, it is? Yeah. Oh, no, ginger ale doesn't me. have caffeine. You should have gone with uh, the diet well, But it was, it was like a, um, a placebo effect. I thought I was getting okay, caffeinated. Okay, okay. So. Fact, uh, fact of but um, my son w was hosting a uh, party. And they got so rock rockious, is that the word? Mm -hmm. Excited, mm -hmm. screaming and all that, that uh, I had to put an external speaker on my computer so that I could hear the people calling because the noise from the other room was so loud. So. Oh, so you were you were doing it from your house? From my house, Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, what I should have done, though, although, oh, my God, it would have been out of control, is I should have actually, in retrospect, done the show from the other room where the party was going on. Oh, yeah, and seeing people's reactions. Seeing people's reactions. Well, that's something that you could do in the next four years. Four years. That's right. Four 20, more years. 2012, and already I'm sure people are gearing up for that as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, so. the Republicans, you know, they're having a strategy session today in a secret mountain retreat in Virginia, hand-wringing. What went wrong, and what do we have to do to make it right? Next well, time. I think one thing that went wrong, and I would love to hear your opinion on this. Number one, we've had a Republican in office for two administrations that got a little messy. People weren't so happy about it, considering the economic crisis and also the Middle East conflict. And then on top of it, I think, you know, McCain, when he gave his resignation speech, when he conceded to Barack mm -hmm. Obama, mm -hmm. I thought he did it in such a, uh, a very kind way. I think he came across as a gentleman, never once was a sore loser. But what was really uh, disappointing to me is if he would have had that attitude the entire time instead of going for that Republican stronghold, you know, ba-boom, always, always let me get a punch in, always let me get the last word in, mm -hmm. I think he might have done a little better or at least would have had more sympathy when he lost. Well... I think what happened was uh, after he sewed up the nomination, there was a change in uh, leadership in his campaign. Basically, the Republican National Committee came in mm -hmm. and said, we're going to run your campaign for you. And wow. John McCain was not allowed to be John McCain. Now, I like John McCain. I covered him in Florida during the primary there. Also friends with Hillary Clinton. And he, Well, he's friends with everybody. Yeah. He reaches across the aisle, which w really pissed off the far right of the Republican, Republican right. Party. So that's when they decided, you know what, we're going to bring in Sarah Palin because we need to more conservative. Bring the conservatives back into the fold. Now, I, now, of course, hindsight is always twenty twenty, but I felt at the time that that was a bad move because uh, where are, else agree. are the conservatives going to go? I mean, they could have sat out the election, and maybe some of them did, even though he had Palin. That's true, uh, but they certainly were not going to vote for Barack Obama, right? Who they were trying to 
you know, paint as this uh, socialist, uh, Marxist wacko. No way okay. were the uh, conservatives going to vote for Obama. So they had no choice but to stay with McCain. Had he had uh, brought in a more moderate person, especially somebody who had an understanding of the economy, which he, in a ma moment of candor, acknowledged, I don't know very much about economics, which then bit him on the butt. Of course. Um, I think because what you're doing is, this is why Barack Obama, by the way, Diana, changed some of his positions after the primary. During the primary, you're speaking to the party faithful. You've got to get them to vote for you rather than the, the other people from your party who are running. Once you get that nomination, you are no longer speaking to the party faithful. You've got them locked in. The people you are speaking to are the independents, exactly. the undecided voters. Those are the voters that are going to determine people an election. People outside, like myself, who are going, well, I'm and not myself. really sure who the right. best person is. That's because right. I, my particular stance is I'm not a member of either party. I go for the best candidate at that time. Mm -hmm. I would rather do that and then always feel like I have to go with someone just because I'm you know, affiliated with a certain party. And that's just how I've done it the past couple couple elections. However, I do think that that also I've heard some rumors, which I think is interesting too. It's like the soap opera of the Republicans are coming out that apparently when Sarah Palin got her bid, she came out with a couple, I think it was was Rove and I forget the other person that they're claiming came to her hotel room and her husband uh, Todd said, oh, she'll be right out. And she came out in a towel and said, oh, I'll be right back. And you wonder, is that, you know, po political gossip? Or is that something that maybe she really did use her, you know, body or whatever as like a weapon, you know? It you know, and I was all given an opportunity to be part of that vetting process for the Republicans, and I missed that opportunity. I'm really upset yeah, about that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> We're going to take our first caller, Rose in Minnesota. Hi, Rose. Welcome to the show with me and Gary. Well, hello, Diane. Uh, hello, Diane. Hello, uh, Gary. Okay, well, Gary, hello first there, off. Rose. <laughs> first <laughs> off, Gary, inquiring minds want to know, are you single? And second off, are you glad that this election's over with? Yeah, I'm between wives right now. Uh, 